back to my channel. Hello, hello everyone. Today, it's um, yesterday can be talking about me, but today we will talk about something between sacrifice and obedience, okay? Yeah, very cool. I will share with you about Hosea 8 verses 2 to 3. Israel cries out to me, our God, we acknowledge you, but Israel has rejected what is good, an enemy will pursue him. And Hosea 9 verse 17, my God will reject them because they have not obeyed him, they will be wanderers among the nations. Ako personally, kasi ano ko dali, ano, dili sa bata yung knowledge ng mga kasi ko. It's the first time the acknowledgement na asya is not enough. Because when we acknowledge that He's here, we acknowledge His presence, yet, wala ka nag it's useless. But don't just acknowledge the presence of the Lord, but also obey Him. Then here in Jeremiah 7, verse 23, I only gave them this command. Obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Do all that I command and good things will happen to you. Uh, makita ko na to sa first saying yung 1522 that is um, to obey is better than sacrifice. When we obey, na magita yung sacrifice, right? For example, this quarantine period, ano when we obey to our local government, no, when we obey to them, na they must sacrifice, which is the freedom of the holaka, which is the freedom to go to work or freedom to to enjoy outside world, to outside or outside the company. Kana siya to must sacrifice. Pero nagubay ta. I want to to give you the context. Um, two sides of obedience is better than sacrifice. So first thing, the Lord. No. The kanta gusto is sacrifice for the Lord. The kanta gusto buhaton for the Lord. But the question is, kung sa mundo ang gusto ni Lord na buhaton nato, de ba? Because pwede ka ayon na natin is sacrifice yet di disobey nato si Lord. Bali natin is sacrifice for the Lord pero di nadisobey nato siya. Pwede kay na siya nito. As much as possible, connect with the Lord. Ask him, Lord, what is your will sa kung kina buhay? What do you want me to do? Ubita. But there are times na lisod, lisod mag-obey, labi na o ganun. Kailangan siya extra mile of faith, extra mile of you know, trust, dara kay Lord. But lahi, ito dyan sa feeling. No, pag makonquer ni mo yung fear, makonquer ni mo yung comfort zone. So, sa side naman sa government, no, this season, di ba natay, pandemic na nagkakalat, which is the, the COVID-19. So, our government is requesting us no na kana mag stay lang dito sa balay pag wala tayong bahagi sa bawas. Dili um, jud siya important eh. No, dagag mga tao na masabdan na sila because may ilang gina consume or ilang mga ginakaon every day kay naga base nang sa work. Mao nang mapugos sila bisag dili sila gina nang gawas mapugos sila na is sacrifice. No, is sacrifice ang ilang health just to earn money outside the house. And, pero wala siguro nila nakita po ang effect ani no na disobey sila sa government and di sacrifice nila ilang health para makaarrange ng money outside no, wala na nakita and what if pakita na ko sa inyo ang possibility if kanang padayon mo mag disobey sa kung hindi natawag natin na quarantine first if sige mo gawas hindi mo pangitag trabaho sa gawas and then wala mo kabalo na inyong kasabay kay infected na sige mo gawas na Pagbalik niyo sa iyong malay, imbis na pagkaon niyong dala, ang dala niyong masakit. What if ka nang takdan ka, tapos ng family kay natakdan na po? What if lang nga, I'm not declaring it, I'm just stating the possibility kung sa mahitabo kung si itag disobey sa government sa ilang mga kanina quarantine period. So, kana nakagawas, then I found out niyo na sakit. So, na-effect, na-effect dali ah. First thing is that mas nilala naman siya. First thing, wala na kay trabaho, di nakakatrabaho kayo na kay sakit ko ba? Ikaduha, wala na kayo mag-provide na food sa inyong family. Kaya wala naman kayo work. Di na po ka-able mag-work. Kaya hindi naman ka pa yung gawas kayo na kayo sakit. Third one, imong pamilya, kamutanan, takdan, sa imong pag-isumay. 
again, I'm not declaring it to anybody else na magkakayod outside. But I'm just stating again the possibility na pag magawas mo, pag magpaday mong disobey, do na ang may sacrifice sacrifice mo yourself, inyo, anak good in yung health, kay susun mo man na ay ma-provide sa inyong family. Na ay mga aba na nag-take risk yun sila. Pero I advise to you, stay at home na lang sa amin. Isod po siya, you know, isod sa situation sa Obama. Then, we'll provide sa family. Ano, I hope the government will find ways for that. They're struggling and they are sacrificing their health just to provide food sa ilang table. Mato siya ang gusto na ko i-share about sa inyong sa obedience and, and sacrifice. Again, you know, mag-pray with that. Like, pray not just for ourselves, but also for kani ang nation Philippines. Is, then, pray na to na every struggle, every like this, at ang sitwasyon ka rin, I hope na mag-end niya siya, na nai-lesson na mabutang sa ito ang heart, nai-lesson na ito ang magunita, na ito ma-apply, mag-change sa ito ang kinag-apply, mag-change sa ito ang perspective sa life. Kana, prayer, prayer is really powerful. We'll face it together. And let's always apply the blood of Jesus sa ito ang family, sa ito ang at ang relatives at ang mga close friends and then let's apply the blood of Jesus because that's the best covering no? aside sa mask, aside sa alcohol aside sa kung sa pagdaraan mo ng safety, safety gear na no? ito ang ginasuot everyday apply the blood of Jesus so, Thank you very much for watching this video I hope you learned something about obedience and sacrifice Comment down below what are the other things that you not always put on the app. And also, don't forget to wash your hands. You can pray, 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 pray. So, thank you for watching this video and stay safe. Bye-bye.